Alrighty everybody, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick run through of everything covered in the first Armor Reforger dev blog, as well as what changes have already arrived with the first minor update, that being 0.9.5.44 on Xbox and 0.9.5.49 on Steam. So let's just get right into this. First off, let's cover the minor updates that came to Steam and Xbox. On Xbox, update 0.9.5.44 had the following fixes. A bug in the respawn menu that would cause several characters to be spawned at once. A bug that would cause players to be kicked out of a session when an issue with static items occurred. A bug that would cause crashing when loading. All were fixed. They also improved camera collision in third person view, AI pathfinding in Game Master as well wasn't. On Steam, update 0.9.5.49 had these fixes. They fixed a bug that caused a crash when backpacks were stored inside each other. They improved connection issues. They fixed a bug that caused characters to be stuck inside a falling animation, like constantly falling. Um, they fixed a bug that would randomly kick you from your multiplayer round. They fixed a bug that prevented you from saving your settings and loading them on a later date. They improved the blending of the M923A1 truck, as well as the server browser and respawn select also. They added animations to switching firing modes on certain weapons that originally lacked an animation. And they optimized connecting to your Bohemia account so you can now actually connect to it's out of the way, what else was covered in the dev blog? Well, they talked about what they were working on for the future, stating that one of the primary focuses right now is to improve performance and to resolve this connection issues. However, they stated that in the near future, one can expect a fix to render glitches that are occurring with scopes, as well as more workshop administration fees. They then stated that they will be adding forum pages to the official forums for uh, Bohemia for Reforger, and that there will be a new official example mod coming out soon from them they have called Hexcavate. And when that releases, I will probably be doing some coverage on it because I'm quite excited to see what they come up with. While this has been a relatively short dev blog, it has told us quite a bit about what the dev team's plans are and what they've already accomplished in the very short amount of time the game has already been out. I plan on dropping short little videos like this each time they release one of these little dev blogs, so hopefully you guys generally enjoy this type of format. But until the next release, uh, that's all I got for you guys today, and until next time, this has been Christopher. Ciao!